Hi everybody, um, today I just want to talk about something and this is with regards to harassment, trolling, uh, um, fraud. Uh, at the moment everything online is um, extremely sensitive as well. Here in Holland we've had the emergency, um, people like police, firemen, the lifeguards, banks, hospitals, schools, you can't make municipalities, you can't make an, an appointment to go and see the doctor or at the municipality, your re, uh, regional uh, um, government uh, offices um, because there's been a major uh, downfall or crash in the system. A couple of weeks ago it was something to do with Microsoft and another uh, um, company but now there is um, a question uh, whether it is um, the satellite or something or rather that is sent up from Russia to go into the cyber that could damage cyber uh, um, uh, other cyber satellites sorry uh, it's too difficult language to explain and I'm sitting here it's like voicemail and I'm a little bit nervous about that because it is things of nowadays something new that we've never met so I advise you keep some cash uh, just in case you have an uh, internet outfall um, around you or in your country so that you have enough money to travel or to buy food or water so that is the new strategy here in Holland um, in the Netherlands uh, they are suggesting get a survival kit as well um, it's all expensive it's all about money but it's also about track and tracing our privacy has totally evaporated in the world now there is a program on BBC one every morning it is called morning life on BBC one and they deal with harassment they deal with uh, it's very broad, health things, um, garden things, but also I get a lot of tips from that program on how to safeguard yourself and maintain your health and well-being. Today I would like to talk about harassment online, um, me or creators uh, pro approaching customers and QR codes. Now we had it in Holland that some of restaurants, shops, put QR codes in the shop window and they were not original or um, original. Um, there were people that got into the shops and stuck their own QR code and when people clicked on the QR code it would de um, de um, take them to another website other than uh, the business that they thought it would be. So be careful with QR codes. We all know about the, um, the uh, MGA uh, or the where you do your uh, buying your uh, paying with your card and p putting in your PIN number there. That they cover the keyboard with um, uh, false uh, keyboards that will co um, record your PIN number and they can then get into your account. They're getting more devious by the minute, the fraudsters. Um, also, that is with the QR code that I will explain. I will do it now because I'm still busy over the QR code. So make sure that there isn't a QR code colored over or scratched or that there is an other QR code um, stuck on top of it. So be um, diligent and alert especially apparently in uh, the UK, uh, you can QR code, um, pay with QR code in parking uh, places, um, but you get deviated. If you use that QR code, then it's not going to the parking um, premises that get paid or facilities. Um, it is the fraudsters and you can get fined and they have your details. So never ever give your PIN number or your bank details or your address or your phone number. Um, again, this can also be uh, with fraud. Um, 
there was um, a major. Um, oh, I have to have a look on my uh, ca um, telephone. Uh, it is a booking site, and it is called um, uh, Holiday Something or Other. Let me just see. It's a tr uh, you can travel f holiday holiday dot com I think it's called uh, so you know I don't want to also discriminate anybody uh, unlawfully um, but just be on your alert okay also the uh, besides QR codes and your pin uh, your 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 pin that you use on your card um, it's also advisable to switch off the NFC on your mobile phone. That's the NFC means that you can pay by your phone. But in the shopping malls, people are walking around with little boxes and they can swipe you anywhere. They don't even have to have your card anymore. So please be conscious. Now, um, harassment online. The harassment online, like I've experienced and other creators, but not as um, bad as we had on uh, life morning life this morning. People get harassment. They get the, to know their information. Uh, they trolling them and um, uh, tracking them um, on Facebook or other media platforms, especially Facebook and X, formerly Twitter. Um, uh, people have had to take people to court and they got a five-year sentence. So two people that are trolling other people or harassing people online, be careful. We all have our right to privacy and freedom. If you want to maintain your freedom, then I would suggest that you stop trolling certain people if you troll. If you do get harassed, the advice is to not to react to anything that happens in a chat or on Facebook, but take a screenshot and then report it and then delete it um, or block them from Messenger and Facebook or any other platform. And the QR code that is quishing, that is a new word for it, quishing phishing. So that's the QR phishing is not real um, mail, that's fishy mail. And Q quishing is the new word for the QR code, which is QR codes phishing. Okay, so I just wanted to mention a little update. So make sure that you don't react to any of these um harassment uh, if you have them on your Facebook or in the chat or don't give anybody your telephone number because uh, WhatsApp is also joined to Messenger and Facebook and that is really bad. Also don't react, report, delete and block and before you do that take screenshots then you have evidence when you can make a police report, do tell the police um, as some media channels do not take adequate enough reaction to reports. Like I've been reporting video channels or media channels that report false news about Princess Diana, for instance, because I'm a big fan of hers. Bless her soul. Rest may she rest in peace. But watch out for titles. If you've got titles that say another tearful thing happened to the king and he cried. It is fishing. Usually if they are repeating and you start watching them and it's totally another subject, then it is a fishing. Report and delete. Okay, that's all I wanted to say on harassment. Approaching customers, I will never approach my viewers, my customers. I wait until the customers come to me. The media channels I see as shop windows. That you can see whether you've got a click with a reader or with a subject that you're watching. And then approach the reader uh, by email. Okay, 
um, that is much safer if the email doesn't arrive at the person that is intended for then you know that it isn't the right email address also it is against my principles and the vocation of therapists or anybody professional to approach customers unless I've mentioned something in a life for example so like I usually say send me an email that it's in a description box but don't react on anything in the chat unless you know it is me like in a life I might put my link to the description box or the tech channel but never an email um, uh, so definitely uh, just follow up uh, when I'm live I will might tell you something here's the email or I might say it and then you can follow up on it because then you've seen me do it and others as well use your common sense please and definitely another thing I got harassed on one of the media channels this week by drumming can I have an answer can you do me a reading when they already had a free card now I keep my media channels low in free cards and um, also sometimes to ask for a question a super chat that's called only on YouTube you can pay through PayPal the link is in the description box um, then you can have a four card reading or a five card reading and an oracle card depending on the price it's in the description box also I don't like to be battered and uh, nowadays I don't get flustered anymore with anybody that is annoying or harassing in the chat I delete without pardon and I also report them and after the life I delete them from the channel if because uh, on YouTube for example and TikTok um, you can, and f uh, Facebook um, they can come in you delete them all the viewers help me thank you very much to delete them or block them but they come back after seven seconds or 30 seconds so it would be a good idea for all media channels that if um, I block them the creator blocks them that in the life that they are blocked and that they don't have a second chance to come back in and harass the peace and the tranquility that is on my channel and any other channel I hope this has helped you uh, to be aware of what is happening with internet and people that abuse internet and use internet like we all do stay safe and remember in England they even have a telephone number of your bank on your card so connect with your own bank don't go into any discussions then you'll stay safe go back to the basics go back to the old-fashioned way in order to take back control hold the control connect with your bank and check whether uh, something is gone wrong don't don't go into discussion De don't react report and delete thank you very much for your support and understanding uh, let's keep our life and community together by protecting each other by standing together. Thank you.